Now let's continue. In this case, this complex is found to give three ADCL precipitates. Fine. Now, from this we came to know if three ADCL precipitates are there in echo solution, that means there are three CL negative which are free. That is ion is in. So we can conclude here as only primary valency is ion is in, according to Werner. Therefore, all the three chlorine present in this, all the three chloride ions, they satisfy only primary valency. Fine. As metal tends to satisfy both its valency, primary is satisfied by CL, so there should be something to satisfy the secondary valency, that is the coordination number. So in this case, we have available six ammonia here, which satisfy the secondary valency, that is coordination number six. Fine. And moreover, according to Werner, these <coughs> species satisfying secondary valency, they, they have a fixed positions. Fixed position around the metal ion in space. So that means this will give rise to the geometry of the compound. Right? So let's observe the structure given for this compound is this. Here all the bold lines, six bold lines pointing towards six corners of octahedron are satisfied by ammonia only because we have six available ammonia and moreover the three CL are shown by dotted lines attached to cobalt. These dotted lines can be placed anywhere because they are simply ionic bonds and ionic bonds are directionless. Fine. So you can put them anywhere. Fine. So <coughs> these, all these dotted, when you dissolve this compound in water, all these dotted part will go free in water and because three Cl are free in water, that means we are getting three AgCl precipitates. Fine. So this is how this thing helped in predicting the structure of this compound. Fine. Now, this is the structure for this particular compound where primary and secondary both valencies are satisfied. Let me take the second compound in this category. In the second compound, the content of ammonia is less. The compound is this, that is 5 ammonia. Now this compound is formed to give two AgCl precipitates, two moles of AgCl. That means it should have two Cl negative ions which are free, satisfying primary valency. So <coughs> these will satisfy primary valency. Fine. Now, as the coordination number is six, we are available with five ammonia. Fine. Moreover, one Cl is also there. Fine. So this particular Cl is satisfying both its primary as well as secondary valence. That means it is present as a free ion. Moreover, it is present as a ligand also. Fine? So in this case, we have five ammonia as ligands. Fine? And one Cl as a ligand. But at the same time, Cl being negative, so it is satisfying primary valency also, fine? So for this particular compound, let me draw the structure. Here, the five position of the octahedron are occupied by ammonia. And you can place Cl at one of the positions. Now this Cl is attached to cobalt with a bold line showing that it shows the it satisfies the secondary valency, but at the same time, it is satisfying the oxidation state of cobalt. So, we have to place dotted as well as gold lines. The other two CL can be placed anywhere <coughs> shown by dotted lines, right? So, these two CL satisfy only primary valency and this CL satisfy primary as well as secondary valency and all other ammonia are satisfying secondary valency. Right? So, 
this particular complex at that time it is given this type of representation for this compound but if you have to represent the, this complex uh, in today's time then you can represent it like this cobalt 5 ligands are ammonia 1 is Cl and 2 are ethanoxide fine that means this is satisfying only oxidation state due to its charge while this is satisfying the oxidation state as well as it is acting as a ligand. Is it fine? So this is the difference. This is the very good representation of a complex. This shows that the part which remains outside this bracket, that is the coordination sphere, this will dissolve in water and give you free ions. Fine? So this is the representation for this particular complex. Right? Now <coughs> let's take the third example. Here we have this case. Ammonia content is now further reduced. This will give us one AgCl precipitate, one mole of AgCl precipitate in water. Fine. This shows what? That means there is only one Cl negative which is free in water. So therefore, one Cl will satisfy primary valency because this is the only ionizable. Four ammonia are there as well as two Cl they will satisfy the secondary valency that means they all will act as lead. But at the same time the plus three charge of cobalt has to be satisfied. One Cl is doing that job so these two are also doing their job that means these two Cl will also to satisfy oxidation state of metal that is its primary valence. Right? So on the basis of this discussion we can draw its structure like this. Here we have <coughs> ammonia at four positions while Cl at two position these are very special CL because they satisfy both primary as well as secondary valency fine and there is one CL represented by only dotted line this represents only the primary valency so this is the ionizable part let us rep represent this complex this complex will be represented like this ligands written in the bracket fine and the counter ion, that is ionizable part is outside the bracket. So this is representation, coordination number 6 and here one counter ion CL negative is given out. Right? So <coughs> last example. So reaction with silver nitrate led us to know that how the primary and secondary valency is satisfied by different species here. We have no AgCl precipitates here. No silver nitrate test is given. That means there is no uh, free Cl negative ion in this particular case. Fine. So therefore, in this case, three ammonia and three Cl all are satisfying secondary valency. But you know, these three will satisfy primary valency also but this satisfy only secondary being neutral they cannot satisfy the plus charge of cobalt fine right? so let's represent this complex it will be represented like this three ammonia are there and three cl all three cl will be satisfying secondary as well as primary wells so we represent this complex like cobalt three ligands are ammonia and three are right so this is totally an unionizable complex that means it will not give you any counter ion nothing is fine so this is how 